In this video, I will guide you through the configuration of layer 3 interfaces on the Nokia 7750 service router. Interfaces such as the system, the loopback and layer 3 logical interfaces will be configured in this video. We will start by assigning an IP address to the system interface. Uh, the system interface exists by default and cannot be removed. Also, the system interface is automatically used as the router ID by some dynamic routing protocols such as BGP and OSPF. We will then configure a loopback interface and finish off with the configuration of a layer 3 logical interface. We will also verify the configuration by performing some basic reachability tests using the ping utility. In the previous video, we configured the IOM and the MDA cards on the Nokia 7750 SR. These are classed as layer 2 Ethernet level configuration. The following configuration in this video are classed as layer 3 IP level configuration. As mentioned, we will start by assigning an IP address to the system interface, which as mentioned earlier, exists by default and cannot be removed. To begin, we sh issue the show router interface command. This is to check what interfaces are already configured. And as this is a blank um, VM, the only interface that we should see is the system interface. We will then issue the same command on the uh, PE2. Again, the system interface is the only interface available. So to configure this interface, um, before we proceed to the configuration of this interface, I'd like you to take a note of the status of the um, system interface. It's currently admin up and operationally down on both sides. Admin up and operationally down. Now, the only configuration the system interface requires to be admin and operational up is the IP address. So to do that, we issue the configure router interface system it return this takes us into the system interface configuration mode from here we can either assign an uh, ipv6 address or an ipv4 address for our own purpose we are going to assign an ipv4 address and to do that we issue the address and then type in the ip address we would like to assign to this um, pe1 from the diagram on the left, um, we are going to assign PE1, the system interface IP address of 1.1.1.1 slash 32. And on PE2, we're going to do 2.2.2.2 slash .2 .2 32. So address 1.1.1.1 slash 32. It return. We move over to PE2 and do the same thing. So configure router interface system it return address on this side will be 2.2.2.2 slash 32 it return now if we now issue the show router interface command again show router interface we can now see that the system interface has now got an IP address and it's currently in admin and operational op states. So again, we move on to the PE2 and issue the show router interface command. It return PE2 also now has an IP address of 2.2.2.2 slash 32 and it's in admin and operational op state. Now, this concludes the configuration of a system interface, but I would like you to take a note that the only thing we needed to do here was assign an IP address to get the interface to be admin and operationally up. You will see differences as we progress um, in this video with the layer 3 logical interface and a loopback interface. So the next thing I'd like us to do is configure a loopback interface. So this is going to be used for testing. So let's, let's go and do that now. So if we exit this and do again, um, all the um, router interface is done from the configure router interface uh, mode. So we do configure 
router interface the loopback interface um, because it's not an existing interface we'll have to create a name for it now with the naming i will also like to show you uh, something that you should take note of if we issue uh, say uh, we want to name the interface loop back test if we issue this command as you can see there are spaces in between the naming the CLI of the Nokia uh, 7750 is going to generate an error because it sees this command as uh, three different objects which it doesn't recognize so if I hit return there now you say invalid parameter now to get that to be accepted by the CLI we need to add quotation marks at the beginning and at the end of the name so if we now add those quotation marks and it return we are now in the loopback interface configuration mode so let's assign an IP address to this interface as well so let's give it a 10.10.10.10 slash 32 if we hit return on this sorry we need to put the address keyword so address 10.10.10.10 slash 10 .10 .10 32 hit return it's accepted it but if we show router interface to see the status of the interfaces we'll notice that the loopback interface that we just created it's got an IP address it's at main state up but operationally it's down now the reason for this is it will not come up until we actually tell the CLI that this is a loopback interface and to do that we need to use the keyword loopback under that interface mode if we now hit return and go back and check the status of this interface we will now notice that even the loopback interface now has got the admin and operationally up um, states so the difference between the loopback and the system are as follows for the system all you need to do all you need for the configuration to come up is an IP address for the loopback interfaces you need to assign an IP address and also issue the keyword loopback for the CLI to recognize that as a loopback interface otherwise it will not come up it will be admin up on and down operationally so we now move on to a layer 3 logical interface now I call this layer 3 logical interface because I uh, personally use the name of the far end node on the near side and by that I mean <clears throat> I'll show you so again configure router interface now we also need to assign a name so I'm gonna give this uh, I'm gonna name this to underscore PE2 it return the address out like this is this network in between PE1 and PE2 which is the 10.10.10 slash 29 network so on the PE1 side is going to be dot one on the PE2 side is going to be dot two so I don't do that so address 10.10.10.1 slash 29 it return now again if we try and see the status of this newly created logical interface you will see a, a, a difference so I'll issue the show router interface again now again as you can see the layer 3 logical interface has got the address which is fine it's admin up but operationally down now there's something missing and that thing missing is the physical port we need to assign a physical port to a layer 3 logical interface for it to become admin and operationally up now as you can see from the diagram the interface or physical port that I'd like to use here is 1 slash 1 slash 1 on that link between PE1 and PE2 so let's check the status of the physical ports show port to do that we issue the show port command now as you can see all the ports are in admin state down and port state down and there's no link 
already so if we go ahead if we go ahead and assign port one slash one slash one and it return that's fine if i do info on 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 here now just to see what configuration we have on the disk interface you'll see that we've got the address we've got the port uh, we've got the no shutdown so it's not shut down it's up but if we go ahead and check the status of the interfaces again show router interface you'll notice it's still down now the reason for this is because the interface needs any interface that you assign to a layer 3 logical interface must be in an admin state of up and port state of up as well by that i mean the the physical link in between the near and the end and uh, uh, the near side and the far side needs to be there otherwise that interface will be down so let's us uh, let's go into the port configuration mode so for that we go into configure port one slash one slash one it return all we need to do here is no shutdown and then if we check the port status again show port now the port is up so if we then look at the interface status again you'll now see all the three interfaces that we uh, configured are now in admin up and operational state up so before we move on to PE2 I'd like you to uh, remember for the system interface all you need is an IP address for the loopback interface you need an IP address and the keyword loopback for the layer 3 logical interfaces you need an IP address you need a physical port and uh, the physical port needs to be in an admin up state otherwise it will be down so let's move on to PE2 and configure uh, the logical interface back to PE1 so let's do that by saying configure router interface we call this to PE1 uh, we don't need to put quotes here because of the underscore but let's let's just put it to follow how we've been configuring so far so it return to PE1 the IP address as per the diagram is going to be 10.10.10.2 slash 29 it return again don't forget the address keyword address 10.10.10.2 slash 29 it return the port we're going to use is going to be port 1 slash 1 slash 1 it return but don't forget we need to go into the port configuration mode configure port it return configure port 1 slash 1 slash 1 it return no shutdown exit if we now show router interface in interface to PE1 is up up on both sides so if we ping from PE1 if we say ping uh, 10.10.10.2 we should get a reply because it's a direct connection if we do the same on the other side ping 10.10.10.1 we should also get a reply now this concludes the configuration of uh, layer 3 interfaces on a Nokia 7750 service router I hope you find this uh, useful and thank you for viewing